Hello, math class. Welcome back to another lecture. This is lesson four of the fourth unit, the last of this paired unit between three and four. So after this, there is a test. Uh, definitely study up for that. What we're going to do today is we're going to solve two problems using obtuse triangles, triangles that are uh, have angles that are larger than 90 degrees in it. Um, let's just jump right in. A survey in a helicopter would like to know the width of a lake. We have the situation given right here. When it's hovering 1,610 meters of, uh, above the forest, our surveyor observes two angles of depression, 145 to the opposite side and 82 degrees um, to the close side. The helicopter and the two points are in the same vertical plane, so we are determining the width of the lake at the nearest meter. Let's do it. Um, first of all, we have our helicopter. Perfect helicopter. Uh, I already said that it is 1610 above the ground. Now, we are looking at, I'll make the lake blue. <laughs> I'll make the lake blue. We're looking at the lake as well. And we have an angle here of 45 degrees and an angle here for the large one of 82. So what I'm going to do is I'm really going to turn this into a right angle triangle and I'm going to find um, this distance from the helicopter to this and the distance from the uh, helicopter to this edge of the lake and subtract them to find the whole thing. Uh, I'm using opposite and adjacent sides, so that is tan. So tan of, let's do 45 first to find the far side, is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So uh, that would be sixteen. 10, yes, because we're doing the opposite where you can say that this is 45 as well. Um, so 16, 10 over A, we find uh, A, the tan of 45 is actually 1. So A is 16, 10 meters as well. Uh, we can find out this other distance here. We use the tan of 82. So the tan of 82 is equal to 16, 10 divided by B. We switch this around to find out what B is. B is 226.3 meters. So the difference between them would be the width of the lake. Let's do it in blue again, because I'm feeling like you know, the lake is blue. 1610, subtract 226.3, will give us 1,383.7 meters for the width of the lake. We have a little question here. A, could the cosine law have been used to calculate the width of the lake? Um, let's see, if we had found, we have an angle, we have a side, uh, we would need to find one more side first. So A, if we found one more side, we'd be able to do that. And B, do we need to worry about the ambiguous uh, sine law in this situation? The answer to B would be no, it's not a side-side angle situation. We are given um, only one side and we have multiple angles. Example two. This one is a little bit tricky. So, Ray is in the viewing pod in a wind turbine at an altitude of 1,272 meters. So I'm going to draw this picture. This is Ray at that altitude. Ray is up at the top. Uh, she observes two ships, one south at 3.3 3 degrees east. And I'm going to get to that part in another problem here uh, with an angle of depression at 6.9 degrees. So let's do that one first. So the angle of depression is from the horizontal. So from there, she's looking over here to see a ship. We're going to say that is H and the angle here is 6.9 degrees. Uh, also looking southeast, and I'll get the directions in another diagram as well, uh, again later. 
Um, we are, she sees another one. It's an angle of depression this time of 7.3 degrees. So we see another, but we're going to call that shift F. Okay, and then there is a straight line between them that we're not too worried about right now. We're worried about is the distances to the base of the mountain. So kind of have a problem where the angles are like this. Um, what we want to do first, so we want to determine this distance eventually between the two ships. But to do that, I need to be able to find out um, some things about this triangle first. I know nothing about it. I need to find this side. I should find uh, this side. I could find an angle. That would be very, very helpful. Um, so let's get down into it. Um, if this is the angle of elevation, I know that this angle is 90 degrees. Subtract that. So 90 subtract 6.9 would be 93.1. And subtract 7.3 would be 92.7. So I know uh, those angles there now, sorry, 82.7, not 92.7, 82.7 and 83.1. So now what I can do is I can determine using a simple trig ratio, because I know that the mountain is square with the ground, I can find out the lengths here and here. We'll call them, what am I calling them? I'm calling them uh, A and B, I guess, okay? So tan of 83.1, that's for this one, is equal to uh, opposite over adjacent. So that is B over 1272. Uh, B then equals 9929.5 meters. And the tan of 82.7 is equal to A over 1272. A is equal to 10511.2 meters. So I have now found this side and this side. And I don't know that this is a right angle. If I knew that this was a right angle, I could use Pythagorean's theorem uh, to find out the distance between the two ships, but I don't. So I'm going to now draw um, the directions that we had talked about. So two ships, one at south 3.3 degrees east and 15.5 degrees east. What does that mean? So what that means is that if we have this coordinate system here, where this is north and this is west, we would have east over here and south down here. Um, the first ship is south 3.3 degrees east. So south and then 3.3 degrees east. So we have a line to our first ship at this angle is 3.3 and then align to our second ship with this angle she said it was 15.5 degrees so I can find this interior angle by subtracting them 15.5 subtract 3.3 will give us 12.2 degrees for our angle that we need now we can use the cosine law because I have two sides and an angle, I found these to be 9929.5 meters, and this one to be 10511.2 meters. So I have a side angle side, I can use the cosine law. Let's see. Let's call the distance between them x. So x squared is equal to, let's just call this 9930. 9930 squared plus, we'll just call this uh, 10,511 squared minus 2 times both numbers times the cosine of the angle that we found was 12.2. We would find that x is equal to 2,247.8 meters. And that's 2.247 kilometers. And again, that answer makes sense. It's nothing um, too crazy. It's similar to like nine uh, kilometers and 10 kilometers that we've been dealing with so far. Um, so there we go. 
There's also the need to know that I'd definitely like you to check out. Uh, but if you have any questions at all with these problems or with the practice problems that you'll try, um, please don't be afraid to ask and good luck on the unit test. Uh, thanks so much for watching, Ryan, and I will see you soon.